through the open. Nice. Hey, hey, welcome everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're live. Please feel free to put in the comments section who you are and where you're from so that we can say hello. Make sure that you're sharing this video out as well, getting everyone that you know on here. We have our founder with us, Mr. Justin Bella Bobby. He's going to kind of fill everybody in on what's going on, some new updates, and we'll also be answering any questions that you might have. Before I introduce them, I just want to say good morning to a few. Hey, Olivier, good morning. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Tony. Hey, Nightingale, how are you? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. See a few more people pop it on. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Hey, you guys, if you are not in the Royalty Affiliate private group on Facebook, make sure that you come on over and join us. We would love to have you. You'll find out all the updates, when our trainings are, and things like that inside of that group. Uh, we also have a webinar, an opportunity webinar, uh, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to have a special guest with us there. So I'll kind of go over the overview and we'll have our founder, Justin Melababa, there with us so that he can answer any questions your guests might have. I think that's super awesome. So make sure that you are inviting and spreading the word. Good morning once again, everybody. I see the comments there. Thanks for being here. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our founder, Justin Melababa. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Cheryl. Morning, everybody. Great to be back uh, for our um, regular Tuesday, Thursday, 11 a.m. Uh, webinar, which has turned into a, uh, a Facebook Live uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, 11, which is awesome. Um, as always, and for those of you who are new to uh, to these, um, these webinars, welcome. Um, I'm going to start with a few announcements um but really this is to uh, you know this is about you having um the opportunity to ask anything you want so um please do that uh you can just write it in the chat and i will answer every single uh one of your questions uh, so don't be shy um so let's let's get to it um i, I think a, a lot of you have may have noticed that in the last couple of days your ads uh, said under review um, and you hadn't made any change. And, and so you wrote into support and said, why is my ad under review? Uh, ignore that, okay? Um, th we're making some changes to our back end uh, to accommodate the, um, the analytics that we are gonna be rolling out at the end of the month. So um, as a result, uh, some ads said under review when they were still running. So your ads were still running the whole time um, and you should see them restored to normal kind of like active status, but they always were active. So um, ignore that, just some behind the scenes changes that we're doing. Um, a number of you reached out to support and that's great. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and uh, just a word about support. Uh, if you're not aware, we are now a seven day a week company. So we uh, we provide email support seven days a week. We also provide live video support um, instantly, um, Monday to Friday during business hours. So the way that works is as always, send your, your email into support at royalty.com um, and we will send you, either, either we solve your issue you know, quickly and easily with an email back or if we can't solve it, you know, with one email back, um, we will send you a link. You click the link, and it'll open up a live uh, Zoom um, uh, video conference with our awesome support team. And I know people are taking advantage of that and love that. So anything you need, you know, reach out. We're here to help. Um, how you know, how, however you uh, you'd like to use us. So um, I want to mention that um, we promised that we would roll out uh, the contacts. Um, feature in the new Upline Ads app. We did that uh, last week and then over the weekend. So um, if you don't have the latest version of the Upline Ads app, please go get it from Google Play or the App Store. Um, it has that contacts feature added and that's really important because when you generate leads from your landing pages, um, you can get a push notification that a new lead came in and then you can instantly see that lead um, in the contact section of your app, also on desktop as always, but the, that having contacts visible on the mobile app is a new feature that we added 
uh, as promised, um, you know, over the last few days. Uh, lots of things coming this week. Uh, our plan is to roll out uh, multilingual apps, mobile apps. So um, that is uh, French, Spanish, German, Korean. Uh, the first four languages that we're doing, we anticipate being able to launch all of those this week. Um, big feature that we've been uh, excited to release is, of course, creating ads on desktop. Um, that is planned. Uh, it's planned for this week. I, I will tell you that it is possible that um, it it be, it becomes like a Monday release. We just generally we don't like to release things on fridays like big new features because we don't have our full technology team available so realistically if we don't release it on thursday then we're going to wait till monday because if we release something on friday and there's and you know something goes wrong then we don't have all of our developers available to fix it over the weekend so we don't we generally don't release things on friday so either it'll be thursday or monday so we might lose a day which, you know, is, believe me, you know, more frustrating for us than it is for you. But I apologize for, uh, for um, if there is that delay. I don't know for sure. We're still targeting Thursday, but it might be Monday for desktop ads. Um, that is being able to build an ad on desktop. We are then going to release our uh, new um, our new customer onboarding process where a new customer goes straight from, you know, ordering to creating their ad and creating their landing page all in one very, very smooth process. That's huge. Uh, we're, we remain on track to release that middle of the month. Um, included with that is going to be a, uh, a, a um, I don't know, I guess, uh, just a cool surprise, OK? Uh, for, for all of our affiliates out there, um, you will through this new onboarding, we're going to have a new royalty.com homepage, and uh, it's going to, I believe, fundamentally change the way that we uh, that we sell this product. So uh, the benefit is is for new customers, but it's also going to have a hugely positive impact on the way that we sell the product. So look for that middle of the month, which is only now you know what ten days away, roughly. Um, after that, we are releasing analytics. Uh, as I said, so that's still on track for, you know, probably around the 20th, 22nd or so. We look to, we're we going to look to release that. Um, oh, the the, uh, the monthly leads guarantee. So um, we have now received like hundreds of, of, of leads that we want to, you know, start to, to share with all of you. Um, we we need to we're going to be delivering these through your upline landing pages right through the landing pages that you build um through us so we need to add like an industry selector on the landing page we haven't done that yet we are still planning on doing that this week so as soon as that happens you can go into your landing pages pick your industry and then we'll be able to start um you know pushing those additional leads into uh your landing pages which will go into your contact section so that's still uh on track um hopefully we'll, we'll launch that this week but again if it's not you know thursday then it'll, it'll be monday um and let's see oh uh i think that's about it we are um still very much looking forward to our conference in atlanta we're now north of i think 450 registrations um remember that march 15th is uh the end of the contest where um, top three affiliates uh, in personal sales will get a $500 travel voucher. Um, we'll also enter everybody's name um, who's made a personal sale into uh, a draw for our grand prize uh, trip for two, airfare, uh, four seasons uh, accommodations. Um, so that that's going to be that contest ends uh, March 15th. So remember that and um, of course, Atlanta uh, is going to be where we launch that uh, that 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 new, incredibly exciting feature that we are being uh, very very tight-lipped about. But trust me, this is you know one one of the coolest features that uh, 
that we've ever released. So that we're going to announce that April 13th in Atlanta. Hope to see you there. And with that, lot that was a ton of, of uh, information. Um, now I would love to answer all of your questions. So please fire away. Hey, thanks, Justin. Uh, can a client use a pre-existing landing page from elsewhere and use it with the gem? Um, yeah, you can, of course. So you can use any, basically any website that you want. So when someone clicks on your ad, you can take them to any website, as long as that website complies with, you know, law um, and advertising guidelines. Um, so yes, feel free. If you want to send people to your Facebook page, you can do that. If you have if you have a website already and you want to send them there, go ahead and do that. Um, there are good reasons to use uh, the landing pages that are available to you in our system. First of all, um, you can build an unlimited number number of them at no additional cost. Second of all, um, you know we're going to be rolling out analytics associated with the landing pages. If you use our landing pages, we will be able to add additional uh, leads um, into your uh, you know, into in, like through the landing page into your context, you, you, you can take advantage of that, um, you know, guaranteed leads uh, service that we provide. Um, in the future, a lot of what we do, a lot of the additional services that we offer are going to be, you know, integrated with our landing pages, like remarketing, content marketing, things like that. So um, yes, you're free to use any third party website that you want, but we recommend our own landing pages because they're great. Um, and because in the future, they're going to become more and more and more valuable as we continue to add more services. Hey, thanks, Justin. Uh, people are asking about when they will be able to target different demographics. Um, yeah, so we're targeting that targeting feature uh, for April. So the plan, the the plan, like the product roadmap that we have, is uh, desktop ads followed by onboarding followed by analytics. That's this month. Um, then we launch our, you know, surprise special secret, you know, awesome, uh, feature that, uh, we're not, I'm not allowed to talk about. We're doing that on April 13th. After that, the rest of April is going to be, you know, the, the current plan at least is, um, enhanced targeting of your ads and getting to work on the all important ad library which we've talked about before, but that's going to allow you to store ads and share ads. And, um, you know, for it's going to allow us to put proven ads for your industry into, um, you know, into your back office uh, that you can use. It's going to allow us to roll out, you know, the, the remarketing feature that we have planned. It's going to, it's going to allow for a ton of, a, you know, um, a ton of additional features. Anyway, targeting and um, ad libraries kind of second half of April. That, that's the current plan. Uh, for the uh, landing pages, when we get a new lead, how, um, when will we know what landing page it came from? Yeah, so we are going. We're going to uh, indicate that. Uh, we're going to indicate on the lead which landing page they came from. Uh, that is something that we're going to add this month. So the first thing we wanted to do was actually put, you know, give you access to your leads in your app. The next enhancement on that is going to be indicating where that lead came from. It's you know, it's it's a it's an easy feature. It's it's scheduled. It's going to happen in the next you know couple of weeks. Uh, this is from Nightingale. Do we do newly created landing pages immediately go live, or do we have the option for file as pending while we work on them? They go live when you save it it's i think it's at the button says save and publish right. but just don't tell anyone about it right like if you don't want people to know just i would just keep it to myself or if you want to really keep it under wraps then just like name it something you know completely arbitrary right like put it under some other name and then when you're ready to push it live give it the, the give it the uh you know the name that you want um and then and publish it but as long as you don't tell anyone i don't think anyone's gonna stumble on your half done landing page. Uh, question, should we use the same URL line in our landing page on the about me page? Yeah, I would, why not? It's your, look, it's your website, right? Like that's what we really want, you know, all of our customers to embrace these landing pages as like, you know, 
for the first time, I'm not using an affiliate link or I'm not just like, you know, taking up a little bit of space on my real estate brokerages site. This is my site. And no matter, you know, where I go, no matter what I do, I'm going to keep this site and I'm going to build my brand. I'm going to, you know, use this site to market myself as a professional. Um, this is, uh, when, when we are in the ads application to share landing pages, how can we send a landing page at once to the complete list of contacts that are in the ads application? Uh, you, you can't do that now. Uh, oh, if it's not possible, do you know when, or will it be? Um, look, that's, that gets into more of like, uh, you know, marketing automation conversation, right? Like, you know, um, mass texts, marketing, uh, mass email. Um, so I think, I think that that, that decision goes beyond, I just want to share my landing page. It's more of like, what, how, you know, what features do we want to offer to allow, like you're building your list inside our system. It does make sense that you, we also enable ongoing marketing to that list of people. And I think that's, it's part of that conversation. Um, I think Terry might have missed the beginning here. He says, uh, what was the issue with Google yesterday that caused our ads to be down and how often will this occur? Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't an issue with Google. That was us making some changes to our backend to accommodate uh, analytics later this month. And so your ad said, under review when it really wasn't. They've all they they were active. They're still active. They were never not active. Um, the status changed in our system, but again, nothing to worry about. It was um, entirely just like a back end system upgrade. And we didn't we didn't. It was sort of like an unintended consequence of of what we were doing that it did change the status, but it had no actual impact in the real world. Um, when do you foresee the flexibility to be able to design a landing page um, with eliminating the small logo uh, and the subscribe button at the very top? Uh, I anticipate that in, I'd say probably in the next like, you know, 30 to 60 days, you know, we've had a number of, a number of requests. Um, for example, like, do I have to have like that big hero image at the top? Why can't I just have a video at the top? Good point. So there's, um, I don't know, a hundred minor enhancements that we want to make to our landing pages. Um, you know, changing the color of your font, changing the size of your font, changing the background color. I, you know, I could go on. Um, so we will continue to make those small enhancements. I mean, we, we, we make enhancements that you probably don't notice. Uh, you know, every day. So we will continue to make minor enhancements and probably 90% of them you're not going to notice because you never cared about the issue in the first place, but somebody else did. Um, so that that's on the list of things that we are, you know, continuing to tweak and, you know, every day. Oh, uh, when someone contacts you through the contact page on your landing page, where does it go? It goes into the contact section on desktop or on your upline ads mobile app. Um, and as long as you haven't disabled push notifications, you sh you'll get a notification on your phone that says you have a new lead. Um, we're also going to, you know, to make sure that things don't get lost um, or slip through the cracks. We're also going to enable an e an automatic email um, that that also will alert you when a a new um, when a new lead comes in. I th that should be this week or next week that we do the that we add the email to, to let you know about a new lead uh lars asking does that include white labels i think uh when we were talking about the leads that question was asked um so like um people being able to get leads through white oh, labels. yeah 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 that everyone every customer um will you provide a general list of the industries that our leads will come from yes yeah, you'll you'll pick, like you'll you'll pick your industry from like a a list. Um, if the list isn't perfect because nothing is perfect the first time you do it, don't worry. 
email support and say, you know, please add whatever industry that you think we've overlooked. Okay. And, and we'll do our best. I mean, obviously, you know, the more granular you get, the fewer leads you will get. Right. So I don't know if you, if I think that you'll get, you get more leads if you say, you know, realtor versus, you know, um, uh like re like residential rentals for example right like broader will get you more action than something very very specific so we're trying to find the balance between you know like getting you as many leads as possible versus it you know it being too broad and so you know we're going to put out our initial list of industries and i am sure you will have feedback for us and we will look forward to hearing what that feedback is um can we get the video segregated from YouTube and Vimeo? Um, do we have to upload a link or is it possible to just upload the video directly in the future? What are we doing right now? Link? Yeah. Yeah, link. Yeah. YouTube or Vimeo. Yeah. Um, do you think it's possible to upload directly the video in the future? Uh, it's possible. So I would want to understand why that's better than a Vimeo link and why we should invest a bunch of resource in that like again software the answer is always it's possible it's a question of where does it fit in you know to you know, amongst other priorities in terms of adding value you know the most value to the most customers um right on seeing if you've followed up yeah okay um is there is there going to be a possibility to add Google Analytics to a landing page? Yes, that that is not only possible. That is exactly what will happen in the month of March. Okay. Um, what happens if why does why is my ad staying under review when I'm just moving the pin? It shouldn't. It should update like within seconds or minutes. So if that is happening, um, please. Tell us there may be there may be something else happen like going on with your ad. Um, so let us know, okay? Because that that shouldn't happen when you change all. If all you do is change the the, the ad's location, it should just update in re in basically real time. Um, will the landing pages we make from desktop be ed edit editable <laughs> on mobile from within the app? I don't think so. Um, I really. You know, I don't, I really don't see a lot of value in enabling editing of your landing page on mobile. Convenience, sure, it's convenient, but that's about it. And I don't, compared to other features that we could be working on, that convenience does not, is not convincing to me. Like, you, you know, the, the, the the landing pages that we've enabled are so much um, more feature rich and more, um, you know, they, they look great. And they that's directly because of the capabilities that we have on desktop that you don't have on mobile. So um, I don't believe that a landing page is something that you need to be editing while you're like on the bus or whatever. Like, I just, I don't, you know, like look at like royalty.com. We change that, our website every, you know, three months, right? Like these are not things that, you know, really need to be edited on the fly, right? Like I think you can get home, get to a desk, go to, go to a coffee shop, open your laptop, and you can just change your landing page. I'm not convinced that it's worth it for us to invest a ton of resource in that can the convenience of editing your landing page from your mobile app. Like we had it before, and you know, now that we have such a great landing page tool, I just, I don't know. I mean, it would, I, I would have to, it would have to, I, I like, I'd have to do a complete 180, um, which is possible, but um, I just, I don't really see the value to be honest. Um, the next question is, will 5G affect our pins? No. 
Um, how do you know that a potential client has expressed interest in your ad? How do you view their contact information? It's in the contact section yes. of your app or at royalty.com. Yeah, and and I think that's you know that's something that that's that gets overlooked, right? Like when if you, I see a lot of people, not a lot. I see some people ca ca like emailing into support and saying, you know, I set up my ad. I'm getting tons of impressions. I'm getting tons of clicks, but you know, like my my I'm not getting a lot of sales. And when we look into it, what we see is almost always. Okay, the person has just put in their like affiliate link to whatever, you know, whatever thing that they're promoting. And that's, in my opinion, that is a very, very poor strategy because let's face it, we, as, you know, we, we as consumers do not typically buy the first time that we're exposed to a product. Like we need to be exposed multiple times. And so, you know, expecting, you know, I pop my affiliate link in there and I'm just going to be overrun with, with sales. That that's to me, that's an unrealistic expectation. Um, what, what I strongly encourage you to do is to use a, one of our landing pages, capture the lead, right? Like capture that person's contact information and then follow up with that person and initiate like a real conversation, whether that's over email or phone or whatever. But that, that is how, you know, that's how you, you, you can actually, you know, close business is not by popping an affiliate link in there and expecting, you know, your sales to just start rolling in that that doesn't really work. Right. And, and experienced salespeople will, will tell you that um, build your list, right? Build your list, market to your list, follow up, follow up. What's that? What's that expression, Cheryl? The fortunes in the follow up. Right. You always say that. And, and, that, and that's 100 percent true. OK, so. So use our landing pages, you add a capture, like a, a, a contact form, a capture form, like anyone who's built a landing page that doesn't have a contact form, you've made a mistake. Like you, you got to do that. You got to capture the lead because when you capture it, that's when you're in a position to market to, to that customer and, or to that, that, to that prospect and over time, turn them into a customer. Okay. So use our landing pages, add a contact form. When you get a, a, a new lead, they'll go into your contact section. You'll get an email, you'll get a pop-up on your phone. Then you can begin to market to that lead. All right. Thanks. Rant over. Uh, Joyce is saying um, the upload the video because uh, YouTube and Vimeo has uh, video libraries that appear at the end of your link. So Joyce, I was letting them know. Yeah. Uh, that's our take. Um, if we if we have a landing page attached to an ad, and we change said landing page, do we need to have the ad approved again? No. If we have multiple active ads and landing pages, do we need multiple gems, or can the impressions from a single gem apply to multiple active ads and landing pages? Okay, hold on. <laughs> can you repeat <laughs> that one? <laughs> If we have multiple active ads and landing pages, do we need multiple gems or can the impression from a single gem apply to multiple active ads or landing pages? Okay, so you can only if you can only be running one ad at a given time, right? Like one one gem or one ad pin, right? We can only run one ad at a time. So if you want to run, you know, five ads at the same time, like, you know, maybe you're a realtor, you've got five open houses that you want to, you know, you want to promote this weekend, you, you would need five pins, five, you know, five, uh, you know, um, ad pins to, to run those five ads separately at once. Okay. No Cheryl Coco smile challenges. <laughs> <Run me off. laughs> um, can we get the ability to add more buttons on landing pages? You can add as many buttons as you want. Yep. You can add a, you can put a million buttons on your landing page. Go ahead. Uh, any, can we add a share code feature as well so we can share pages with our teams? Uh, I can think about it. Um, you know, I kind of like the share code thing. I think we can do better than that. I think, you know, like the ad, the ad library will allow you to share ads kind of internally 
you know, inside our system without a code. And it seems to me that it would be logical to be able to do the same thing with landing pages. Like I've just built a landing page. I'm going to share this with my team, right? And I'm going to share it, in, you know, without a code. I'm just going to share it out in like inside the this library. Um, at the moment, if you do want to share your landing page with your with your team, I would direct you to our sales management app, right? It's called Upline CRM. And there you can build your team. And we've actually, we've created a, a file sharing system where you can share an unlimited number of files, right? So it's, it's sort of like Dropbox, but free um, or included, I guess. Uh, and you can share as many files as you want with your team, including links. So if I build a, a landing page that I want my whole team to have access to, um, you know, I, I would right now I could just, you know, pop that link um, into the, you know, my team's content section in the Upline CRM app. So um, look, our sales management system is is really, really cool and it's underutilized and, uh, you know, it's, it, to, you know, I, I love it. And I think that one day it's, it's just going to click and everyone's going to be like, ah, we totally get this thing. We know why you're so passionate about it. We know why you invested so much in this thing. One day, I promise you, it's good. It's going to be a big deal one day. Thanks, Justin. Uh, when are we going to have an email auto response or email auto responder? Look, I, my answer is the same um, as uh, as in the past. It makes total sense. Okay, um, it's not. It doesn't have a, a fixed place in our product roadmap right now, um, but. I do acknowledge that if this is a place where I'm advertising and I've got and the you know the ads are link, like going to my landing page and the leads are coming into my landing page going into my sales management you know contact section, it does make sense that I'm able to now use that list and email them or text them or whatever like that 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 makes sense guys I'm I'm with you. The issue is where does this fit into our already jam-packed roadmap of arguably more valuable features? And in my opinion, there are features that we, uh, that we need to roll out that are more valuable than that. Um, remarketing is a good example. Content marketing is a good example. Lead magnets, you know, that's a good example. This, uh, I think this feature we're rolling out in Atlanta mm -hmm. is more valuable. Um, so I'm in favor of it and I think that we will get there in one form or another, whether that is we build our own or we integrate with existing ones or some kind of a hybrid. Like I know we will have a solution there. It's a question of when given all of the other amazing things that we are doing. Uh, will there be a tool for, to help folks size their pictures properly for ads? Yeah. Um, for ads. For ads? Yeah. I mean, we have, like, if you upload something, then we, if it doesn't meet, fit the specs, then we, we will ask you to, to crop it. We already provide that. I thought you were asking about landing pages because we're still working on, um, you know, kind of loosening the image specs on our landing page. Um, we've already done some of that, but we need to do more. Um, so that's one of, you know, a number of, uh, of changes that are going to be made soon. Like, and that, that, that's in the category of like minor tweaks that I don't even really talk about. Uh, where can we see our ad working somewhere and how do we know it's really out there working? Um, so seeing your own ad is extremely unlikely. Um, you know, it, it's, it's. It's, it's put it this way, it is much less likely than turning on, you know, imagine you had 10,000 channels on your TV, turning your TV on at a random time to a random channel, you wouldn't expect to see your ad. So if you think that's unli unlikely, which it is, this is like way less likely. So um, you're probably not going to see your own ad. And it doesn't matter whether you're us or you're Google or you're Facebook, no, n like no one can just you know, conjure your ad on your, on, you know, your phone at, at, you know, on demand. It doesn't work like that, right? There are sophisticated advertising algorithms behind the scenes that will cause your ad to appear.
appear on on you know whatever device um, you know the algorithm decides. So it's not it, it's just, it, it, expecting to see your own ad is, it, is you're just asking to be disappointed. Instead, what everybody does, whether you are in television or newspaper advertising or you are Facebook or Google or us, is we give you the data, right? We give you the analytics. So right now, we report to you uh, impressions and clicks on your ads. Later this month, um, we are going to tell you where, you know, the source of every click and, you know, demographic information about all of your clicks. And so we're going to give you a lot more information. Um, so, you know, that's scheduled for, for later this month. Um, so, yeah, so that's the deal. I mean, we've had people who, for whatever reason, you know, it's just part of their, their, their character to be exceptionally skeptical. Um, and okay, I, I don't take it personally. You know, it, it's some people are just like that. I, uh, encourage those people to put to use a third party website, put Google Analytics on that website and see if the clicks match up with what we're telling you, okay? Um, and they will. So uh, if you are one of those people, then feel free, you know, put us to the test, bring it on. Um, but for everybody else, we will be enhancing our analytics uh, in the month of March. So stay tuned, that's coming very soon. Thank you. Also, you know, we just updated the testimonial folder. There are some great ones in there and people who have done the Google analytic thing that you suggested and they're all showing the same thing. So just wanted to add that. Thanks, Justin. Am I able to change the pin location daily? You can change it every minute if you want. Uh, is the wellness industry broken down into specificity? I don't have the industry list memorized. Um, just, just wait and see. Um, I know, yes, like within wellness, I, you know, I, I believe that we've broken it down but I, off the top of my head, I can't be more specific than that right now. Uh, you will see, uh, hopefully you will have access to that list on Thursday and uh, you know, tell us what you think. Any ideas when we will have font choices on the landing pages? I don't have, I don't have a specific answer on that. I think that this is, you know, that, that's in the category of minor tweaks over the next 30, 60 days. Um, how can you have a video ad? Uh, we're not doing video ads right now. Okay, and I'm just thank but you. It's something that we want to do, and we will. But at the moment, we don't offer that. Um, yes, Diana. And when we upload a YouTube video, one gets additional ads. If you don't have a paid Vimeo account, we'll do the same thing. Yes. Uh, when? Oh, when will the up website be updated? The royalty website. Yeah. Uh, that'll be updated as part of the release of the new onboarding system. So around the 15th, you know, plus or minus a few days. Um, if they're not getting an updated impressions and clicks support. Uh, yeah, it, that could, in, if, if it's been over the last couple of days, that could be, the, again, the result of the backend changes that we're making, you should see updates like tonight um, if, if it's still not looking the way it should like say by tomorrow morning uh, email support and, and we'll look into it um, where do my created landing pages reside or are they all as ad pins Hold on. okay Nightingale I, uh, when you go into may I Justin sorry yeah. okay uh, when you go into royalty.com from your desktop and you log in, right over there to the top left-hand corner, you'll see your landing pages, all the ones that have been designed or designed for you or that you've designed. But in your app, if you download the Upline Ads app, if you haven't done that, make sure that you do it and make sure that you update the app because the contact section is in there now. Super clean app. Everybody seems to love it. Make sure that you download that app. You'll see where you can place your ad inside of that app. It's, lo la uh, it's labeled like ad pins. And then you'll also be able to directly connect your landing pages right there from the app once you build them from royalty.com. So you'll have a little link that says share or copy that link and you can directly place it into your ad pin. Makes it super easy. So um, that's the way to find it. <laughs> Thanks. 
Um, yes, we're still working on the white label video, Terry. Um, we're going to change a little bit of things up, but hopefully by the end of this week. Um, can you target more than, oh, can you target more than one area with the same gem? Uh, your pin is in one place at one time. So you can move it as much as you want. Yeah. Um, this, uh, okay, Lumbers, I think, uh, when are we showing some proof? I think someone actually put the testimonial link inside the contacts or inside the comment section here. Um, so you might want to check out that link. There's a Google Drive. I think Olivier put it in there. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, how can we upload an audience list of contacts to display ads to? An audience list? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, that's, that's super cool. Uh, so the idea is I have a list of prospects, right? Like I have a thousand email addresses. I want to target that list um, with my ads. So can I upload that list of email addresses and then not over email, but that, that list of emails, like those, those people will start to see my ads on YouTube, CNN, Google, et cetera. So yeah, that, that's a thing. Like that's super cool. Um, and that will be, you know, related to the remarketing because it, 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 that is in a way, right. Remarketing, um, just in a, in a slightly different form. Like a, when I think of remarketing, the first thing I think of is people that visit my landing page, right. I want to, you know, drop a cookie on their browser and I want to show them my ad. 10 or 20 more times as they continue to browse other sites. That's kind of like the most common form of remarketing. But another form is what you're describing where it's like, I have this list of, of prospects. I'm going to upload that list and I want to, you know, show that ad to that list as they are on YouTube and CNN and whatever. So that's another form of remarketing. It's great. I love it. Um, I actually think, you know, wouldn't it be cool? Uh, and this kind of, this gets into sort of like my criticism of like email marketing automation. The, it, my criticism is um, the open rates are, are generally low, right? Like eight, 10, 20% if you're just killing it. So, you know, what about the other 90, 80, 90% of, uh, of those prospects? How are you reaching out to them? And that's what I love about this idea. You know, imagine this. I record a video, right? And, um, you know, talking about my product, I upload my list of prospects and then I, I have, uh, the video I recorded shown to the, to my list of prospects the next time they're on YouTube. Like that's cool, <laughs> right? That, like that's how, and that's how you can kind of reintroduce yourself and reach, you know, not, 10% of your email list, but maybe, you know, 70, 80% of your email list. So this is, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like there's, there's so many amazing strategies out there. Um, prioritizing them is our biggest challenge, right? So when I say I'm, he I'm a little bit hesitant to, e to implement like an email marketing automation tool, it's not because I don't think it's cool. It's, t it's cool, it, but there's cooler things, right? Um, so, Anyway, the question was uploading an email list and, and then, you know, pushing ads to those people. Yes. Like that's absolutely part of our, our roadmap and I'm super psyched about that. Thanks, Justin. Uh, do you know if the company placing the actual ads uses remarketing? For instance, if I have a Zillow, I have a Zillow cookie on my phone. Will I be weighted towards a realtor ad? So, what? One more time. <laughs> Do you know if the company placing the actual ads uses remarketing? For instance, if I have a Zillow cookie oh, on. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So, um, currently, we're not we're not um, targeting based on on interest, right? We're targeting based on proximity. So we will add more detailed targeting in April. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my ads are being approved, but my phone the phone number is being removed. Yep. 
You can't put phone numbers in your ad. Yeah. Thank you, Chrissy. Oh, that was same proof. And also, by the way, it's not a great it's not a great strategy because that's not how people interact with online ads. Like, yes, maybe that's a good thing to do. Like, like if you're doing like a Craigslist ad, but what people like the way you interact with an ad is you click it. Like that's that's your first instinct is to click it. So don't have the phone number in the ad. Make the make the ad enticing enough that's going to make me want to click it because that's what I'm in. That that's my that's like my instinct. So when I click it, then have your phone number there on your landing page. Yep. Um, hey, Tim, thank you for posting the link. I appreciate that uh, for the testimonials. If our ad is still showing in review because of the updates, can we make changes now? Uh, try it. Um, but you really shouldn't see your ad under review. Like if, it, you know, it's the whole thing is done now. Like everything we wanted to do, we did. So um, you shouldn't see your, your, it say under review for very much longer. Give it a couple more hours if it's there, but please reach out to support so we can fix it for you, if, if that's still the case. Um, I have the Royalty Gem and the old Wi-Fi product. Can I exchange that Wi-Fi for more gems? Uh, we have already done that for you. So we announced um, beginning of February. Uh, that we we discontinued that Wi-Fi product and we upgraded everybody who had that Wi-Fi product um, to either a a five thousand impression or a ten thousand impression um, you know virtual gem. So uh, if you check if you log in, you know you download download the 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 app, log in, you will see um, that already there for you. And we're not charging you anything extra. So you pay the same that you were paying, and you know value add. Um, better product uh, for you. Thanks, Justin. Uh, this is from David. Will we be able to download our analytics performance for each month we've been operating into an Excel spreadsheet? That makes sense. I mean, not you can't do that at the moment because, but yeah, like it, it makes sense to be able to export um, the, the enhanced analytics that we show you, right? So not today. Um, but later this month when we have those those enhanced analytics, it, it, it probably makes sense to be able to export that as a CSV. I can't promise that's going to be in the first version, but I agree with you that that's a, that's a logical thing um, to add. Um, Carolyn saying an ad rotator would be cool, but I think we mentioned uh, the landing page rotator before. Yep. Um, the pro look, the problem with an ad rotator is every time you rotate your ad, it has to go back under review, Not even if we don't review it, okay? Even if we say, uh, oh, you know, I recognize those three ads in our database and there's been no changes made, so it can bypass our review. Even if we do that, it's still going to get reviewed by each ad network. And that could add, you know, a two hour delay, a six hour delay. I mean, who knows? So rotating ads, I don't think is, is going to be something that we enable. I prefer have one ad, but if you want to, if you're a restaurant and you want to advertise like, the, the breakfast specials in the morning and the lunch specials at noon and then the dinner specials in the evening, I would have like, you can't do this today, but I would think maybe like you rotate the landing page. So the ad, you know, would just point to like a different URL. Um, and that's something that we can do if, if there's enough demand for it. And, you know, when it, typically we, I, you know, on these webinars, we get demand from like, you know, one, one person or zero. So it's, I'm not, I'm not sure that it's going to add a ton of value to enough people for us to devote the resource, but I could be wrong. So, you know, look, I've, as I always say, like, this is a conversation that we're having, right? And, you know, I hope you get something out of these webinars. I know I do. Um, and a lot of what I get out of it is, you know, I, I have the opportunity to really hear what's on the mind of, you know, so many of our customers. And that has a, you know, that has a big time impact on, how we think about our product and scheduling different features. So if, if there's a, a lot of people who feel really strongly about like a landing page rotator, speak up. Right on. Uh, this in, I think it means ad, but it says in landing pages, we are limited to 40 characters in the head. Oh, in the headlines of different sections. Do you think 
It will increase. We're not limited in any characters for our landing pages. I think he means in your app. There are some character limits on landing page, like the headlines and stuff like that. Yes. Um, I'm not getting a lot of, I'm not hearing that that's a problem from, from most people. They, like we did that for really for design reasons. So that, that you know, so just so it looks good on desktop and on mobile. Um, and I'm not, I'm not hearing that that's been a big problem. But if it is, you know, we can look at maybe increasing that a bit. If we have if we have multiple I think it means BFs that overlap to some degree, will the impressions be duplicate or unique views? No, it like you could look, it, you could have 10 ad pins, put them all in the same place and we're counting impressions set like, you know, separately on each one. Um, like there's no, there's no overlap. So like that to me sounds like a question that comes from someone who is thinking about Bluetooth beacons, right? Like the same notification showing up on the same phone. That's, that's, that was then, this is now, um, it doesn't, it, it doesn't work like that anymore. So if you bought, you know, if you have two VF tens and they're in the exact same place, you will get 10,000 unique impressions over here. 10,000 unique impressions over here, right? You're gonna get 20,000 unique impressions. We're not double counting. Uh, will it be possible to eventually be able to switch back and forth between desktop and mobile view when building our landing page? Uh, that's that's a super logical suggestion. Great suggestion. Someday, sure. I mean, I, I that again, right? Like, it's a it's a it's a very very logical good idea. And I don't know when we will decide that that that's the next thing we really need to build. Uh, it would be great if the landing pages could have multiple phone numbers, websites, and that could make them work just like a business card, but, but look much better. Hmm. So you're talking about like expanding the about like custom fields in the about me section. Right, like add another phone number, add another phone number, add another phone number, add another phone number. Like if you want, yeah, that that's cool. I like that. I think we, I think that was something we did on the business cards, but um, was not a very used, like highly used feature. So I think we scrapped it. So we could bring it back. Again, if if there's if there's reason to do that. Oh, what is allowed to be? On the, on the, on the other hand, do, if you have four businesses, do you want them all on one land? Like I, I don't know about that. Like I would I would probably build four landing pages and have like four, you know, business cards, one for each one of my businesses. And that way, when I'm, I meet a prospect, I'm not, I can be clear about the one thing that I want to talk to this person about. Like I find generally people don't want to hear about four things. Uh, what is, what is allowed to be featured in the feature box section? Can I feature a new author and monetize that section? For example, um, yeah, you do whatever you want. Um, the, the all the feature block is a section. It's it's a type of section that you can add to your landing page. And what is cool about a feature block is it is a combination of a photo or an image um, and text, right? And you can arrange the layout to have the photo on the left side, the photo on the right side, um, and the text either on the left or right of the photo. So that's what a feature block is. Um, it's it's a like. When I use them, I like to have like, you know, two or three in a row because that really kind of, if I, you know, if I'm, if I'm talking about our, our own platform, right, as an example, I would have one feature block that says, you know, um, you know, create your digital ad, you know, in, you know, with ease. Uh, and then I would have another feature block that says, you know, unlimited, beautiful landing pages. And I have another block that says integrated sales management system. So it's a way to kind of tell your story um, in, a, in a persuasive way, right? Like, uh, here are the three things that my product can do for you or four or whatever. I like three. When will, be, when will we be able to incorporate our Facebook pixel and Google code on our landing page? In the future. I don't know. Maybe. 
I don't have I don't have a great answer for that. That that's that's a uh, like that's a real power user feature. Um, given that we are gonna we're already providing analytics on the landing. We will be providing analytics on the landing page. We will offer remarketing on the landing page. Um, so it's already doing a bunch of the things that your own code would do. The Facebook pixel is interesting, of course. Um, and and again, your suggestion is is great. I, I agree with it. Um, my only concern is will more than 1% of our customers be able to take advantage of that feature if we build it right away, right? Versus versus other, other things that may be more advantageous to more people. But maybe I'm wrong. And if I hear from a bunch of, you know, a bunch of customers, we would love that feature, then it, it, it goes up the, the priority list. Uh, there's some questions about resizing of pictures. Um, can you make editor connected to landing page or in the ad section? I'm not sure. A picture resized incorporated into the app versus going out to another source? Yeah. yeah. So um, making it easier to upload your photos, easier to crop them inside the platform, loosening the restrictions. To me, loosening the, 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 the specs on the photo is the real win. Um, more than the cropping tool, uh, just letting you use photos that you have without without having to edit them at all. Um, so we we've we, we're doing that. We need to loosen it more in more ways, more different file types, more sizes. Um, so that that is something we're working on right now. Uh, when will we be when will we be able to edit the size of buttons? The size of the button. <laughs> that's so right exactly right like there's a good i'm, I'm laughing just be that that's something I'm, that i haven't been asked of before no one's asked me to change the size of the button but exactly right that is a great example of you know the hundred things 101 things um that you know we have on a list and that we will implement in in the next you know couple of months Oh, when a video is played on our landing page, does does that count as a click? When a no, we're we're measuring clicks on your ad. Like what? That's what we're reporting to you on the ad is a people who click on your ad. Okay, that's not the same thing as a click on your landing page, which which we measure separately. I think that's the uh, his question is how are like uh, the clicks measured on the landing page, and is it because you they played your it's clicks to the page? So if someone clicks seventeen different things on your page, it's not gonna it's not seventeen clicks. It's one. Um. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, in the comments, I'm seeing support for the bigger button. So <laughs> that's great. See. Yeah. Um, learned something, learned a bunch of things today, but I, I didn't expect that one. Keep going. People are just happy. When will we be able to add additional pages to our landing page to make it a funnel? You can already sure. do that, Emily. Like you can redirect when somebody fills in their contact information. You can send them to another landing page, and then you can send them to another landing page. You can keep sending them. Yeah, so I think I think you know Cheryl's right about you know building that like as a sales funnel. Um, what I think you're talking about is kind of adding more pages to build out a more, in a way, a more traditional website. Like I want to add an about me page, and I want to add you know whatever a features page, and I want to add a this page or that a pricing page, right? So so yeah, I think I think that's I think that's I think that's a a solid suggestion it's something that we are thinking you know carefully about right now um it's a little bit different from what we originally intended these to be which was you know the idea was make these like you know a simple kind of one page format but it is consistent with our broader goal of um making this your website right that's something that you can use you know for for years to come, so it is consistent with that, you know, with that more long term goal that we have. So I, I like that idea. Uh, you know how we get the leads? Our mobile 
mobile marketing leads going to specific areas or going to top affiliates? I guess, you know, you can, <laughs> you can put place an in industry. Um, yeah. yeah. No, this isn't like a favoritism thing, guys. This is like a, this, this is like a service that everybody gets and there's no there's no preference for top affiliates or non affiliates or it's not at all based on that it's based on you know the it's based on um, i guess three factors okay so uh, you will get more leads if you are in a you know i guess more popular more searched industry right i think that makes sense um, in a uh, more you know populous area right where people are actually there and they're you know searching for things um and then uh we are going to allocate those leads proportionally based on the size of your subscription so someone who has you know two vf5s would in the same in, in the same exact area same exact industry as someone with one vf5 it, they would get two to one like they would get twice as many as the person with one vf5 we think that's only fair to allocate the leads that come in proportionally based on the the, the size of your subscription to our uh, platform. So um, you may disagree with that. We think that was the fair thing to do. Um, and we are looking to kick that off. I hope this week, but it might be next week. Will there ever be an option to target the entire US? Yep. Yep, for sure. When we use every country, right? Like, then of course. Uh, look, this started as proximity marketing, right? Back with the beacons, and that's what when we moved to our our new ad delivery system, we we kept with that same idea of proximity marketing because that was what attracted all of our customers in the first place. But now that we have more flexibility, um, we can we can extend that flexibility to you because you may you know if you're if you're selling whatever cosmetic products you you know you, you may not care whether the person's in town right it may be much more important that they're you know this gender this age with these interests and i don't care whether they're in my town or in my state or in my country like, it doesn't matter to me right so we we understand that so as part of the as part of targeting targeting isn't only about narrowing it could be about broadening uh when we use our phone as a pin location for our ads if we're moving, the location of our ads is updated every second, minutes, what? Yeah, it should be real time, but there's things beyond our control, like updating through the API to our ad network partners that it could be minutes. It shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Lots of, <laughs> lots of yeses to the remarketing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, yeah. A, that's a big deal. Mm. Oh, support at royalty.com. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. We, I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but I think we've lost Cheryl. So. Anything else? So uh, I was just saying right before that it's uh, like five after 12, support at royalty.com. I'll give you guys kind of the thing. Uh, make sure that you have stuff. If you still have questions, support at royalty.com. Cheryl at royalty.com. You can feel free to contact me. Make sure that you're in the royalty affiliate private group to get all of our updates. 
and Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at royaltywebinar.com. We'll be doing an overview, and Justin will be there and joining us to make sure that you invite your guests. That being said, thank you, Justin, for being here. We'll be sure to answer your questions on Thursday at the same time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here live on Facebook. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Justin. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.